Okay, using the pairwise comparison method uh, means that we're comparing each candidate to each other. You know, A has to go against B, and we forget all the other candidates. A goes against C, and A goes against D. Okay, but then we also have to do the combinations for B. B needs to be able to have a chance to run against C, and B, candidate B goes against candidate D. Candidate C goes against candidate D, and I think that's all the different possible pair-ups. Okay, so what you're doing is you're running like these mini elections. A versus B, you ignore everybody else. So if we just compare A to B, A wins this uh, this column here. So A gets 21 votes. Oh, wait, sorry. Using the pairwise comparison, method, comparing A to D, which of the following is true? Okay, so we're just actually doing this comparison here. That's how you'd run the pairwise comparison method. But this question asks us just to compare A and D. So which of the following is true? There is a tie. Choice A and D both get half a point. So let's let's run through that election. Between A and D in this first column, A gets 21. Between A and D in the second column, D gets 12 votes. Between A and D in this third column, A, get, A wins because A is above D, so A gets those six votes. Between A and D here, D wins, so D gets 47. Between A and D, A wins, so it gets 9. So now that we know that we could calculate the winner by adding them up, looks like D is the winner. And so choice D gets one point. So what that means is uh, D gets one point because D won this election. D would get another point if it won this matchup over here between D and D. And if D won this one, or let's say D lost this one, then D would get zero points. You would add up all the points that you get from each of those elections. Okay? If like if A wins this pair up, then A gets a point. If A wins this pair up, it gets another point. And whoever has the most points wins the election.